Merry Christmas. I'm coming to you for um, a cool eye design. I have a little Santa hat on here. I'm gonna be using black and white Pro Air solids. I'm also going to be using my trauma kit because I love those reds in there. Then I'm gonna be using green dips, white dips, and red. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my, my paints just to make sure sometimes they don't clog up here. If they do clog up, um, I just take a brush, kind of clean out the spout a little bit because I am gonna wanna be spraying this down on my mixing mat and I'm gonna use a kabuki brush to apply some background color. I've spritzed a little bit on the mat. There's blue here. I'm going to softly apply that. I kind of have a lot on there. So I'm going to take my sponge and kind of rub it out a little bit and blend it so I can soften it up coming off of my eye. There's still a lot of paint on there. See how nice and pretty and concentrated that is? You get lots of coverage with the Kabuki brush. I don't want it to go too high. I'm kind of framing my face and underneath my eye here. Just like that. And if you notice, the brush has stayed moist this whole time. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mixing plate. I do like to recycle these mixing plates. The paint will just be activated again. You just have to use the makeup to activate the makeup. So I'm going to squeeze out a strip of red, just like that. So, putting the white right on there. My brush size is a number eight in the Creative Faces series. And this is gonna make for a small flower. So, loading the brush, one stroke. Now it will pick up a little bit of that blue, but that's okay. You can always go back over it, dip the tip of your brush in white and pull that color right back. Okay, now you can see it's still shiny, so that's the indication that it's still wet. Now, because I went over the blue, my white is kind of blended in a little bit, so I'm gonna do a second coat just to get that to the consistency that I like it. Down about right there. And then I'm going to pull, load again, make sure that there's a lot of white, and then go under here. And then I'm gonna go pull here, load it again, make sure that there's lots of white, and go under there. I've let that dry just a little bit, and I'm gonna go in between this piece and make this squiggle squiggles. So loading the same way, back and forth, making sure that you always have white. There. White there. And down by my eyebrows, just okay there. So you kind of have this really pretty rose, a rose shape. Then I'm gonna let it dry just a bit and then add the bud right in the middle. Just like so. So I have two smaller rose buds coming out. Once those dry a little bit, I can pull and wiggle and pull and wiggle on that one. Load it again, it dries it, but I've still gone through the same amount of paint. I haven't had to re-squeeze it all. So pull, pull, pull. So I'm creating this really pretty flower shape, the nice blue background. This is a petal brush. And I'm gonna go into my palette. This is, I'm sorry, this is my trauma palette. So it has these really rich reds in there. And I did spray a little bit of the Prolong to activate it. Okay, so I'm going to put that into there. And I'm gonna go back into here and I'm gonna darken up just a little bit because I really like that dark color. I wanna really show the depth in there. 
And sometimes because I went over the blue, it didn't come out as dark as I wanted it, but now I darkened it up really nice. So again, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to lather my brush. Then I'm gonna dip the tip in some white here. And do some little petals. Just like that. I already have an area that has green in there, so I'm gonna squeeze inside of there to get my green dips loaded in there. And I'm gonna grab my yellow, and I'm gonna put that in right next to it. So it's completely loaded, green, yellow. And I'm gonna use the same size brush, the number eight, and I'm gonna work that back and forth the same exact way that I just did for my flower. So I need to make sure that there's yellow on the tip and that there's green on the heel. So as I'm coming in, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm gonna repeat that, just like that. Okay, so I pulled that there. I'm gonna pull, pull here, pull here. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna load up the dark green on the tip of the brush. Make sure I get it down into the ferrule. You can use your mixing mat to go back and forth. I like to keep my paint inside of here though, because it preserves it for me. So back and forth. And then we're gonna do some holly leaves. And one little piece down the middle, just like that. black on there and then I'm going to pull down the center here. So I have that holly leaf, another that coming down here, another piece coming here, just like that, and maybe some just little drop leaves so that you pull and push, just like that. Here, and then have one come down right there. round brushes. This is a number two. And I'm going to add, because it's really bright red, I'm going to add some little holly berries in there. So if you noticed, I kept the roses a little bit different color than the holly. Now as it starts to dry a little bit, I'm going to go back over to my trauma palette. I'm not even going to clean my brush. And I'm going to swirl it back around. Now if it dries out, a couple little drops. And I did still have some of the red on there, but this is a deeper red. And if I even wanted to go a little darker, then I could start to pull from one of these colors. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the shadow underneath. And I'm gonna go darker. Darker. Darker, darker. So it gives it a little bit of depth. I'm gonna steal some of that white that I had from earlier. And I'm gonna pull something cute right here. So. Some little tiny dots. Coming down towards the center there. So I'm going to use my dips and I'm just gonna add a few little drops into my solids because the makeup activates the makeup. So by putting that in there and I work it around, I'm not losing any paint. I'm swirling so I make sure that I really get it loaded on there nice. And uh, this is a liner brush. Okay, and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna hit some highlights on the opposite side that I did for my shadow. Up on the top of where the light would hit, just like that. And even on those little tiny baby berries, just like that. down into there. Now, if I wanted to make my rose pop just a little bit more, I could add some highlight into that as well. Again, keeping it swirled, just using the white. Little highlights here. And continue right around to there. I would like to brighten up my rose a little bit here, so. I think it kind of got washed out a little. 
So adding a few highlights, always will just bring it right back. Redip. Just like that. Now I can take some of my fine glitter from Shauna. I get this from Shauna Del Rio. And I can apply that with your finger, or you can apply it with a brush. And I'm just getting that on top of my berries. And then I would take my glitter stick, and this one is called the Jolly Blend. Pull it on up, take just a little piece of it, and I'm gonna add it coming down right here. And maybe on top of those freckles I was talking about, because I love to get the little kids' freckles. And it smells so good. Maybe put a little bit up here, and a little more coming down from here. So you can skip a few of the steps if it's not so elaborate, but if you have the time, maybe it's the first person in your chair and you want them to walk around and see um, the other kids and then send them your way. And there you go.